Hey everyone, welcome back to DSP Lectures. In this video, we will study two important concepts about a signal, energy and power. Here is the outline for this course. First, we will see how the concept of energy and power for a signal arises. Then, we will obtain the equations for energy and power in a continuous time system and later in the case of discrete time systems. So, let's start our lecture. We will begin our discussions by looking at a simple electric circuit. There is a 1 ohm resistor and there is an alternating voltage source. Then the power dissipated by the 1 ohm resistor at any instant of time is given by P of t equal to V of t into I of t where I of t is the current through the circuit. Now using Ohm's law we can write V of t equal to I of t into R where R is the 1 ohm resistance. Also this equation can be rewritten as I of t equal to V of t by R that is okay right. Now if I substitute this value of V of t here we get P of t equal to I of t square into R. Similarly, if I substitute this value of I of t here, we get P of t equal to V of t squared by R. Now we know that the value of R is 1. Therefore, these equations become P of t equal to I of t squared or P of t equal to V of t squared because R is equal to 1 ohm. Now in signal processing, we are conceptually extending these ideas to any signal. So in general, if we have an arbitrary signal X of t, then the instantaneous power of the signal is defined as P of t equal to magnitude of X of t squared. So this is the equation for instantaneous power. There are two points to be noted here. This magnitude squared is used to allow the possibility of X of t being a complex signal. Next point is, although we express the power of a signal as this quantity, in reality signals by themselves don't have any power or don't dissipate power unless they are passed through some resistive element. So in signal analysis, it is customary to assume a 1 ohm resistor. So regardless of whether X of t represents a voltage across it or a current through it, we may express the instantaneous power P of t associated with the signal X of t as magnitude of X of t squared. Now we know that power is the rate at which energy is supplied or consumed. So mathematically, we can express power as the derivative of energy with respect to time. Therefore, we can write energy E is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity P of t dt. And we know that P of t is equal to magnitude of X of t squared. Therefore, energy E is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude of x of t squared into dt. This is the expression for energy of a continuous time signal. Now let us find out the average power of a signal. Average power P is defined as total energy by total time. Also please don't confuse this P with this p. This is instantaneous power p of t and is always expressed as p of t while average power is always expressed as capital P. Ok so the total energy in some interval minus t to t is integral minus t to plus t x of t squared into dt and the total time for this interval is 2t. Now we can put this under limits till 
t tends to infinity so this is the expression for average power in continuous time signals now that you have proper base let us see the equations for energy and power in the case of discrete time signals here we replace all t with instances n so in the case of discrete time signals the power at any instant n is p of n equal to magnitude of x of n squared we can use the same analogy for energy and power so energy is equal to we are replacing integral with summation therefore sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n magnitude squared similarly average power p is equal to sigma n equal to minus capital n to plus capital n magnitude of x of n squared by total time which is 2n plus 1 and this entire thing is put under limits capital n tends to infinity okay but you might be wondering why 2n plus 1 let's see a range from minus 1 to plus 1 there are minus 1 0 1 that is three instances or 2 into 1 plus 1 instances if the range is from minus 2 to plus 2 then there are minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and plus 2 that is there are five instances or 2 into 2 plus 1 instances so the pattern is like if the range is from minus n to plus n then the number of instances will be 2n plus 1 okay okay so to summarize the lecture we learned the equations for instantaneous power total energy and average power for both continuous time signals and discrete time signals i hope that all the concepts that were taught in this video are clear to all of you If you have any doubts feel free to ask them in the comment sections either we or some other viewer will surely help you out if you found this lecture useful please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel thank you for watching properly and have a great day